Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome back to another video. So you've got your new AR-15, you've put a scope on it or you've put some iron sights on it, now you want to take it to the range and shoot it and you're wondering to yourself, what kind of ammunition should I put through my rifle? Well let's take a few minutes today and let's talk about AR-15 ammunition. Welcome back. Okay, so you've got your rifle, you've got your scope mounted, you've got it all set and ready to go, and you want to go to the range and shoot it. What kind of ammunition should you put for your AR through your AR-15? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. And let me first start off this conversation by saying, not all ammunition is created equal. End of the story. That's a fact. You can take that to the bank. End of the deal. Well, and I don't care if you're shooting an AR-15 or any other gun. Just take that with you and put it in your pocket. Not all ammunition is created equal. I've beat that one to death. Now, what kind of ammunition should you put through your AR-15? And we're going to assume for the sake of this discussion, and a lot of this discussion will carry over into other calibers, but we're, we're just going to assume that you happen to have an AR-15 that takes 5.56 NATO ammunition, which is by far the most popular AR-15 being sold in the market today. And the first question I get is, well, can I shoot 223 ammo out of that? Yes, you absolutely can. Not a question. You can shoot 223 ammunition out of a 5.56. Disclaimer, if you've got an AR-15 that is labeled 223 and they are out there, you cannot shoot 5.56 NATO ammunition out of that gun. Now you're going to find, I, mean, I know there's going to be guys that jump into the comments below and say, oh yes you can, you can shoot 5.56 out of 223, you just have to dot 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 and then they'll start to list a whole bunch of qualifications. Rule of thumb, if your AR-15 is labeled 223, do not run 5.56 NATO ammunition through it. If your rifle is labeled 5.56 NATO, you can run either 223 or 5.56 through it, you shouldn't have any problems. Now that we've got that out of the way, you've got your 5.56 NATO AR-15, what kind of ammo should you run through it? In reality, any good quality ammo should suffice. But like I said earlier, not all ammunition is created equally. So with that being said, let's categorize ammunition into three basic categories. You have general target shooting and plinking. You have competition, precision, three gun, things of that effect. And you have hunting. And those are basically the three categories of ammunition I like to consider. So let's talk about the first one first, and this is going to fall into 90% of the people out there who own an AR-15, general target shooting and plinking. Pretty much anything you want to run through that AR-15 to target shoot or plink will suffice. Uh, generally, people buy full metal jacket ammunition or FMJ. Uh, there's American Eagle sometimes calls theirs TMJ, total metal jacket. But that's usually the kind of ammunition people buy for general target shooting and plinking. It's fairly inexpensive, it's got a reasonable level of accuracy, and it, and it generally works without a, without a hitch or without a problem. I generally say if you are going to go out and just plink around, or if you're going to hang a steel plate out there and you want to ring some steel, pick up some fairly inexpensive ammunition. Now with that being said, again, not all ammunition is created equally. I would buy several different kinds of ammunition to start off with. I would buy a 20 round box of maybe some Winchester green tips, buy a 20 round box of American Eagle, 55 grain full metal jacket, 62 grain full metal jacket, 75 grain full metal jacket. Buy various types of ammunition, as many as you can find and as many as your pocketbook can afford. Shoot each one. Shoot a five shot group with each one, concentrating really hard on basic rifle marksmanship and is shooting as tight a group as you possibly can. And one of those brands, weights, or styles of ammunition is going to far and away shoot better in your particular rifle than the others. 
they will probably all shoot with a reasonable degree of accuracy. And out of an AR-15, if you can hold a two-inch group or less, that is what most people generally consider a reasonable degree of accuracy. The AR-15, let's face it, was designed as a combat rifle once upon a time for the military. And the military's requirement was, can we hit a man-sized target at 300 meters? Well, you don't require a whole lot of precision to get that job done. So that's what the AR-15 was designed for. Now, we've got some really expensive stuff out there that'll shoot sub-MOA, but I guarantee you it won't shoot sub-MOA sub with all the different types of ammunition out there. So you really need to do some trial and error. Pick up a box of everything that you can possibly get your hands on, just one box. Take it to the range, hang up some targets, as many as you possibly can, shoot five shots of each out of a cold, clean barrel each time and see which gun, which ammunition groups the best. I've got, I've got rifles out there that really shoot the American Eagle 55 grain ammunition down to a one inch group and that's what that particular gun likes. It will shoot others as well, but for general target shooting and plinking, why spend a whole bunch of money on ammunition when it'll shoot the cheapest stuff out there and it shoots it just fine. I've got other rifles that really only like the, uh, the premium match ammunition or something of that effect. And the only way I know that is by buying several different kinds of ammunition and testing it out. So that's, that's what you should focus on. Get as ex least expensive ammo as you can. Test them out. Shoot five-shot groups. Please don't shoot three-shot. Three-shot groups really don't tell a good story. The five-shot group tells a much better story. Shoot a five-shot group of each of the ammo at different targets. See which one groups the best, and that's the ammunition you should buy. Now let's talk about competition. If you're a competition shooter or if you're planning on going into competition shooting, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You've obviously been doing this for a long enough time and you already understand the requirements of your ammunition. But if you're looking at getting into competition shooting, generally it's the same rules as general target shooting and plinking, just with more money involved. If you're a competition shooter, you're generally going to buy ammunition that says match on the side of the box. Somewhere it's going to say match. So like right here, I've got some Frontier. This is a 5.56 NATO. It's 68 grain match ammunition. This ammunition is designed for competition shooters. But here again, just because it says match does not guarantee any level of accuracy. Once again, you're going to want to pick up several different types of match ammunition. Try as many as you possibly can and see which one shoots best out of your particular rifle. Every gun's different. Now, you might get that one out of a thousand rifle that just absolutely shoots everything exceptionally well. Those rifles are out there. But I don't care if you spend $500 or $2,000 on a rifle. Every rifle is going to shoot ammunition differently. And that one particular rifle is definitely going to like one specific brand or type or weight of ammo better than the other. So again, same principle as before, buy a bunch of different match ammo, try them all out and see which one shoots the best. And you know what, you might actually want to even try some of the cheaper stuff out there because maybe your rifle shoots the 62 grain green tips phenomenally well, which is relatively inexpensive ammunition, and you can get away by saving yourself a little bit of money, even if you're going to compete with it in like three gun or something like that. Now, precision shooting, you're probably going to want to gravitate more towards a match bullet. The only real way to tell is to try them out. Finally, the last category is hunting. Uh, hunting has some general variances to it. If you're hunting coyotes or less, really doesn't matter what kind of bullet you put through it. Uh, I hunt coyotes with hollow point match ammunition. My particular rifle that I use for coyote hunting likes one specific type of match ammunition, and it does it very, well, very, very well, and it's a hollow point. Hollow point ammunition is typically pretty fragile. Uh, as soon as it hits the target, it likes to come apart, and it doesn't retain its weight really well. But a coyote is also considered a thin-skinned animal. You don't need a whole lot of penetration to effectively and humanely dispatch a coyote. Hollow point ammunition does very, very well for every situation I've ever been in. So that's what I shoot. Now, if you're going to use your AR-15 for something like deer, which I don't 
necessarily agree with. I don't think the 5.56 is a big enough caliber for deer, but there are guys out there that do it, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you're confident enough with your rifle, you can get away with it. But for something bigger like a deer-sized game or hogs or something like that, you're going to want ammunition that is actually designed for hunting and designed for deep penetration. In other words, a bullet that when it impacts its target, it's going to mushroom out and it's going to increase its diameter and it's going to retain as much of its weight as possible, i.e. the bullet's not going to come apart as soon as it hits the animal. Hollow point ammunition is, ju is going to do exactly that. As soon as it hits a target, its target, it starts to fragment and come apart and oftentimes you can't hardly find pieces of the bullet. Things like deer and hogs are a heavier skinned animal. You don't want fragmentation. You don't want that bullet to come apart. You want it to stay together as much as possible. Two reasons. One, it's going to penetrate the animal better and you're probably going to get a better clean pass through and more humanely kill that animal. Two, you're not going to have a lot of lead fragments and bullet fragments floating around inside the cavity of that animal ending up in the meat in which you intend to consume. Nobody wants to eat lead and copper. I know I don't, so I generally want my bullets to stay together. That's what you that's what you want to want to look for in a hunting ammunition. Something that's going to stay together, something that's bonded, something that's got a can annular on it around the bullet and if you don't know what a can annular is, go on to go on to the Google and and ask the Google but something that's a soft point, something that's going to mushroom or increase its diameter and generally stay together as much as possible. With that, we've talked about the different kinds of ammo. Now we're going to do a little bit of an ammo test for you to show you that not all ammunition is created equally. What I've got here is I've got my coyote rifle, my AR-15 that I use for coyote hunting. Uh, it's chambered in a caliber called 223 Wild. Actually, that's not a caliber. That's just a chamber. The chamber is 223 Wild. And the reason it's a 223 Wild is it's kind of a happy medium in between 223 and 5.56. To not get into the weeds too deeply on 223 Wild, again, go to the Google to get more information on it. But I chose the 223 Wild because the 223 Wild will fire 5.56 NATO or 223 ammo with a reasonable reasonable degree of accuracy. That's why I picked the 223 Wild Chamber. I don't have to be picky on what kind of ammo I want. I, I buy, and it's got slightly tighter to chamber tolerances, so it'll fire either ammo acceptably well. So at any rate, this is my Coyote rifle. I know what kind of ammo this gun likes to shoot the best, but we're not going to say it here because I'm going to take this rifle to the range and we're going to shoot it. And we're going to shoot it with several different types of ammunition. I've got six different types of ammo here that I can shoot at this range today. Now I'm going to go to an indoor range and they don't let me shoot Winchester green tips because green tipped ammunition has got a steel core in it and they will not allow me to shoot that in the indoor range. It's too hard on the targets. But I've got six different kinds of ammo here. I've got some Federal Premium and a 69 grain match. It's loaded with Sierra bullets, gold medal bullets. We're going to try some of that. Uh, I've got some Frontier. This is, I believe, 75 grain. No, this is 68 grain uh, hollow point boat tail match ammunition. I've got this box of Frontier ammunition. This is 75 grain hollow point boat tail match ammunition. So they're the same ammo, just different bullet weights. I've got some 223 bronze here. This is 55 grain full metal jacket made by PMC. We'll see how that shoots. I've got some Hornady black here in uh, 62 grain full metal jackets. And I've got some American Eagle 223 Remington 75 grain total metal jacket. So the point of this exercise today is to go to the range. We're gonna fire five shot groups out of all of these rifle, or all of all of these ammos and see which one shoots the best. And the purpose is just to show you that not all ammunition is created equally. So I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna put my rifle in my gun case. We're gonna drive over to the range. We're gonna fire some ammo and we're gonna see how each of these shoots out of the same rifle. Oh, what a glorious day to be in America. So here we are. We're uh, back at the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center. We're gonna go to the indoor rifle range here and we're gonna shoot that ammo that I've got and we're going to show you that not all ammunition is created equal. So let's get inside and let's shoot some rounds. America. So the 
before we get going too far here, just wanted to let you know I am at a public range and later in the video in the shooting portion you're going to hear guys talking in the background. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. I am at a public range and it's not like I can tell them to shut up because I'm shooting a YouTube video. So I apologize for that, but just ignore them.
And there you have it. If those results don't prove that not all ammunition is created equal, uh, I don't know what more to, to produce for you. Uh, it's quite obviously that the Federal Premium Match shoots best out of this rifle. Uh, that's, that's without a question. Now, all the other ammo shot reasonably well. I mean, it was... It, it wasn't hideous, but it certainly wasn't the greatest as as well. I mean, it wasn't MOA, but it was within two inches at 100 yards, which, you know, in reality for for an AR shooting relatively cheap ammunition, that's not a horrible grouping. Uh, but quite obviously, the federal premium shot sub-MOA accuracy. So there you have it. Now, yes, you're going to find rifles out there that are going to like the cheaper ammo and shoot much much better with it and it doesn't necessarily have to be premium ammo uh, it just happens to be that this particular rifle does like premium ammo uh, both the frontiers shot reasonably well and actually the hornady black 62 grain 223 didn't shoot too horribly bad either so all of those ammunitions produce acceptable results in actuality uh, this rifle has killed coyotes with a multitude of different ammunition but if I can get the Federal Premium 69 grain, that's what I typically go with. Now, I have other AR-15s that are in the 5.56 category. Uh, this one behind me on the top, for instance, really likes the 68 grain Frontier ammunition. Uh, shoots really nice tight groups, MOA or better. And it just, it just likes that particular ammo. So you kind of have to know your gun and know what what ammunition it likes in particular. Now, would it be nice to find a rifle that shoots everything and anything? Oh, absolutely, of course it would, but unfortunately that's not realistic and it's not generally the norm. So at any rate, uh, the point of the whole exercise here is no matter what gun you have, not just an AR, when you are taking it out and zeroing it and shooting it, you should probably buy four, five, six different boxes of ammunition and see which one it particularly likes the best and which one is most suited to the function that you're going to use that rifle for. So with that, let's wrap this up. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope it hope to provide you with some good information. If you do like this video and you do like this kind of content, you'd be doing me a huge favor by hitting that like and subscribe button down below, ringing that notification bell so that you get notified of upcoming videos, and hit me with comments. All the comments, the likes, the subscribe, the subscriptions, Everything helps with the YouTube algorithms, and even though I don't get monetized for doing gun videos, I still am going to produce them because I think they're, they're something that people want. And if you do want more of this kind of content, please let me know in the comments below. With that, this is Ed with Jack of All Trades. As always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you to all my subscribers, and we will see you on the next video.